gonna come up your side, Michael. Oh my God. I don't know what you think, that's five different sharks at least, huh? It is at least. All the previous population estimates did not take into account this group right here. That's what we're trying to do. Put these on the map right now. Here comes the big one. Look at that, look at that. These pictures are the very first photo IDs of the Point Conception white sharks. Totally just got left side. Back at the mothership, researcher Neha Acharya Patel and a safety diver watch out for more sharks from inside a cage. Each shark has its own signature markings, but all great whites have the same basic color pattern for good reason. If you're looking down at a great white shark, you're looking down at a darker surface, you can't really see it. Just like if you're looking up at a great white shark, you're seeing brighter sunlight and that white belly, again, very hard to see. That's called counter shading. So the color pattern of a white shark is all about invisibility. Here it comes, here it comes. comes. Here we go. Holy moly. He's huge, brother. Oh my God, hit oh. the bucket. <laughs> no, 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 don't eat the bucket. Don't eat the bucket. Don't eat the fender. There was another one right here. They're getting bigger and bigger now. <laughs> Different shark. Shark after shark comes in, circles the boat, and is photographed and identified. The goal now is to keep the pictures coming and sort them out later. At this rate, they'll have a solid photo sample of the sharks at Point Conception. I've lost count of how many sharks we've seen today. It's, it's been a lot, that's for sure. This location is like a conveyor belt of sharks. When we're here multiple days, we don't very often see the same sharks. They're literally coming by one right after another like they're like put right together now. in a Congo line. Yep, <laughs> check her out. Oh, wow. Here she comes. Oh, no, not the bucket. Oh, my god, another oh. new one. <laughs> Nicole's going to have her work cut out for her. We got clips and clips and clips, and putting together the left with the right is not going to be easy. Hey, guys, I think I saw another one in the distance. All right, there it is. Hey, hot, head clip, down below. Incredible, incredible. There she is, different shark right now. The two teams spend the next several hours documenting the enormous numbers of sharks in the Point Conception tribe. Only way we're gonna get the beginning of a decent population estimate is to just keep sampling, keep videotaping, keep taking pictures to see how many individuals we can identify in just a few days that we're here. As the sun goes down on day one, Michael reconvenes with Neha and Nicole back at the mothership. Did you manage to get any samples? Well, Neha, <laughs> I got you three. I've never seen so many big sharks in such a short amount of time anywhere. We had three 16-foot females around us at the same exact time. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Wild. Blown away by how many sharks we saw. This is a major tribe of white sharks right here, undescribed tribe of white sharks. So far, our sampling from the Point Conception tribe is really robust compared to the Guadalupe Island tribe. Yesterday, it was so crazy on Keith's boat, so we're gonna bring Neha out today, just help us keep things organized. She can deal with all the tissue samples and labeling and taking notes. That'll be a big help. Meanwhile, Nicole will go through the images from day one to identify and count up all the individuals. Oh, there's one. Wow, check that out. Oh, another oh, one right there. Wow, oh, they're ah. everywhere. What's going on? Two sharks. Almost immediately, they spot several great whites surfacing near the boat. Here we go. 